February 4th, St. Andrew Corsini. This saint was called Andrew after the apostle of that name, upon whose festival he was born in Florence in 1302. He came from the distinguished family of the Corsini, and we are told that his parents dedicated him to God before his birth, but in spite of all their care, the first part of his youth was spent in vice and extravagance amongst bad companions. His mother never ceased praying for his conversion, and one day, in the bitterness of her grief, she said, I see you are indeed the wolf I saw in my sleep, and explained that before he was born she dreamt she had given birth to a wolf who ran into a church and was changed into a lamb. She added that she and his father had devoted him to the service of God under the protection of the Blessed Virgin, and that they expected of him a very different sort of life from that which he was leading. These rebukes made a very deep impression. Overwhelmed with shame, Andrew the next day went to the church of the Carmelite friars, and after having prayed fervently before the altar of Our Lady, he was so touched by God's grace that he resolved to embrace the religious life in that convent. All the artifices of his former companions and the solicitations of an uncle who tried to draw him back into the world were powerless to change his purpose. He never fell away from the first fervor of his conversion. In the year 1328, Andrew was ordained, but to escape the feasting and music which his family had prepared according to the custom of the day on which he should celebrate his first mass, he withdrew to a little convent seven miles out of the town and there, unknown and with wonderful devotion, he offered to Almighty God the first fruits of his priesthood. After some time employed in preaching in Florence, he was sent to Paris, where he attended the schools for three years. He continued his studies for a while at Avignon with his uncle, Cardinal Corsini, and in 1332, when he returned to Florence, he was chosen prior of his convent. God honored his virtue with the gift of prophecy, and miracles of healing were also ascribed to him. Amongst miracles in the moral order and conquests of hardened souls, the conversion of his cousin John Corsini, a confirmed gambler, was especially remarkable. When the Bishop of Fiesel died in 1349, the chapter unanimously chose Andrew Corsini to fill the seat. As soon, however, as he was informed of what was going on, he hid himself with the Carthusians at Anna. The canons, despairing of finding him, were about to proceed to a second election when his hiding place was revealed by a child. After his consecration as bishop, he redoubled his former austerity. Daily he gave himself a severe discipline whilst he recited the litany, and his bed was of vine branches strewn on the floor. Meditation and reading the Holy Scripture he called recreation from his labors. He avoided talking with women as much as possible and refused to listen to flatteries or informers. His tenderness and care of the poor were extreme. He was particularly solicitous in seeking out those who were ashamed to make known their distress. These he helped with all possible secrecy. St. Andrew had, too, a talent for appeasing quarrels, and he was often successful in restoring order where popular disturbances had broken out. For this reason, Bishop Urban V sent him to Bologna, where the nobility and the people were miserably divided. He pacified them after suffering much humiliation, and they remained at peace during the rest of his life. Every Thursday he used to wash the feet of the poor, and never turned any a beggar away without an alms. As he celebrated Midnight Mass on Christmas Eve, 1373, St. Corsini reported that he had a vision of the Blessed Virgin Mary, who told him he would be departing this world on Epiphany. The following day he became ill, and as foretold, he died on January 6, 1373. He was buried on February 1374, and when his remains were exhumed in 1385, his remains were found to be incorrupt. St. Corsini was beatified by Pope Eugene IV on April 21, 1440. Famously, prayers for his intercession were answered with a Florentine victory over the Milanese at the Battle of Angari in June of the same year. St. Andrew Corsini was formally canonized by Pope Urban VIII on April 22, 1629. A relative much later in life 
Pope Clement XII, born as Lorenzo Corsini, erected a chapel dedicated to St. Corsini in the Basilica of St. John Lateran. His feast day is celebrated on February 4th, and he is honored as the patron saint of diplomats, against riots and civil orders, and of Faisal.